Friday. Yeah, Friday again. Yeehaw. And I have a fun card for you today. In fact, I even have um, one already made up so you can see what it looks like ahead of time. I don't always do that, do I? Sometimes I just fly by the seat of my pants. So I'm Sandy from uh, Lolly and Sand, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. This is the set we're going to be using today. Those should be, I haven't put them on, I still, I should say still have not put them onto a uh, magnetic sheet. So um, this is the Beautiful Bobbles uh, bundle. And we're using this today. And I believe this and this. Now as soon as I uncover that card, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But in the meantime, here's the, um, this is the opposite side of the paper. Because I decided to, um, heat emboss in um, silver, I believe. I couldn't use the copper side, so I don't know what I was thinking. So we're using this side today. Very pretty. Understated too, which I like. Stop flipping the paper around, Sandy. Stop flipping the paper around. Alrighty, here's the card. Super simple. You know me, I, I there's no reason to make it so difficult that nobody could follow along. So the... Um, well, I'll get it out and let's just go from there. The base of the card is Tranquil Tide and I've already cut and scored it. And you know, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm going to put the measurements um, after the video. Sometime after, not exactly sure if it'll be right away. Got a few things to do. A lot of thank you cards to make. And, uh, and what else? Well, let's just get started. I have gone ahead as usual and have already cut the paper to size. We have the inside of the card which we'll do shortly. Oh thank you Robin. <laughs> thank you. I wasn't sure. I thought oh my gosh that's so plain no one's gonna like it. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, I've used the corrugated embossing folder right here. And just taking a, actually, I took a whole sheet. So, and it's a little crooked, my bad. But uh, it's just going to go right on top. And then die cut using the large letter framelits. Now you know what's going in the center, right? All right. So, again, I use the, uh, bring that back for one second. That, and I fussy cut around it. It was no big deal. It's a circle and you just, you know, make your way around. And I put these behind. Uh, you might be wondering, why do I do that ahead of time? You know why? Because your time is valuable. And um, heat embossing is a little bit loud. And I don't want powders on the desk. I usually put down a different surface to cover. So I easy clean up, you know. Let's start here. Um, let me think about that. Yes. Yep, I'm going to put this on first. Normally I would put this on the base. But if you look at this card, I'm going to be tucking in this little bit of... Uh, eh silver silver and white twine I think that's what it's called and if you know me you also know that I get my uh, the names of everything wrong not everything gosh no not everything let's not exaggerate we're not about exaggerating not about making things you know what they're not there I'm thinking I'm thinking all right and also, if you know me, and you do, I go a little bit below center. It's just a thing. And I will have to cut off one end just a little bit. But this is nice because I have a straight edge here. And generally, if I have a straight edge like that, to line it up, and when I'm gluing it down, just put, it, put this right against your tabletop, and it's straight. Now, check this out. Oh, this is the um, da, 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 shimmer, glimmer, glimmer paper. Glimmer paper? Shimmer paper. Glimmer or shimmer. It's one of those two. How's that? And Oh, if you might notice, my fingers are a little bit blue. And I do apologize for that. Had them all nicely cleaned up. And I was finishing up a card this morning that I need to do apparently another wipe on. <laughs> I made the same card with, um, I'm sorry, a similar card using the um, uh, brush-o. 
And brush oil is a little messy. And I thought, you know, it's not a bad thing when you're using brush oil just to get those really thin gloves. Just, I mean, it's okay if you, you know, you're gonna have blue, blue hands or red hands a little bit. But let me tell you this, when you're doing a video, it's not so cool <laughs> to have, you know, different colors on your fingers. Um, now where are we at? So I'm taking the backing off. So I use mini dimensionals for the letters and the full sized ones and avoiding hopefully where it's going to go off the page a little bit. Cause I made this hopefully smaller than this. I made one and then I, I simply went, yeah, let's just cut it. Don't, don't think about dimensions. Just cut it. I do want that one in the center. Now, the one thing you want to do, set it. You don't need to push down yet. If you want to line your letters up really nicely, same thing. I think I'm to the side a bit, but we'll find out when I put the Y on. Hmm. Without that there, I think that's pretty darn good. So let's press down. Now, here comes the twine. And you don't need a lot because you're simply going over and around the back. I'm going to make a double bow as well. Oh, did I, did I say that was the Joya Noel paper? I don't know. Now I made it too short. Let's make that one go away. As I toss it off to the side. Just, you know, boom, off to the side. There you go. I just noticed. Yeah. Oh, glue dots. Yes. So, the way you're going to make this stay down. Here's your glue dots. They last a really long time. I was so delighted, though, when I finally got through one roll. And I went, I did it. It's not that I don't use a lot. You just get a lot. All right. Now, had I been thinking, the smart thing would have been not to put this on before you, before this. But it's no biggie. Because I can just go like this. Press. And it's, yep, it's stuck. And go to the back and do the same thing. I'm, I'm going to bring my scissors in and do a wee trim. Yeah. Um, in case you're new. When you share my video, you get your name into my prize patrol draw. There we go. Looking good. Let's trim the side. Now, I don't want to put it back in my cutter because this is raised. And it doesn't do so well once it's raised. Huh. I had a bit of disturbing news when I went, I went for my normal eye checkup. Apparently, I haven't been since 2012. You know, just because you have laser eye surgery does not mean that you don't go to the eye doctor. Go to the eye doctor. What I found was that I'm far too young to have a cataract starting in my one eye, which has affected my vision. Then the doctor's like, you should have perfect vision that you had laser eye surgery. Like, pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. Because I had it done, like, I don't know, many years ago. Before they could do it with, um, do the, um, um, for reading glasses as well. Darn, if we'd only known, I think I might have cut that too short. But let's make our bunny ears and find out if I can do this. So, there's two strands of the twine and little bunny ears. And I just have to pull one through the other and through the loop. And I know there's a different way of doing this. Anyway, so yeah, I found out that I have a small cataract in my one eye. So they do this really cool, you've probably had it done, where you put your eye up to the smooth, your face in your whole eye. You look at this blue dot and blam, they blast you with light. And that can see right back to your ocular nerve. So, okay, I made it too small. Let's do it again. And... Uh, So it's like there's this, I'm like, what is that dark spot on my eye? Because I've seen this before. Um, I've had the, I've had that same uh, blast your eye thing done uh, twice. And uh, she said, well, it's a shadow. And that turned out to be a Cadillac, Cadillac, cataract, not a Cadillac. There's no car in my eye. A cataract, dead center on my eye, which is affecting my vision. Yay. But in on a closer look, okay, I have to stop for a second. Okay, pick it back up. Sometimes you know you're just not making loops properly. Uh, the second thing she found was a little 
bubble and tear, which means my mom had, if, if you probably, I don't know anyone who doesn't know someone who's had a uh, torn retina. And my mom had that. And apparently that puts me, can I make bigger loops? Yes. That puts me like right up in the, yay, you're going to have the same thing happen to you too. And you know, and I don't really want that, but I'm going to, well, it takes forever to get in. You have, you have something not right with your eye, but it takes forever to get in and I'll be seeing a, uh, an eye surgeon. Apparently they just laser that back. Apparently they can also laser cataracts, but this fellow doesn't do that. And they're just deciding they want it to get it done before the cataract gets too big that they can't get to the bubble thing, the bubble tear. So I was a little upset that day, but I did not eat ice cream. I did not get upset that way. Usually food is my comfort. You know, it's like, yeah. Anyway, you don't need to hear my sob story. Anyway, guess what? I finally made a bow. How long did that take? This is my quick video, you know, quick and easy card. Oops. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, in really cute news, the puppy went up almost all the stairs. <laughs> he's, he's like eight weeks old. We don't, I, I don't want him really doing stairs yet. I don't know how my daughter feels about that. It's her puppy. Okay. I did not get the glue dot. Sometimes you don't press hard enough. So in case you haven't seen this before, your glue dots are on the inside of the roll. And when you want to use them, well, sometimes I just pick them off, but I cut my fingernails short. And other times I press things. So that's the top of our little bow. And I'll make that do what I want. Anyway, so then go like this. Anyway, so he's so darn toot and cute. Oh my gosh. Could puppies be any cuter? Oh, probably not. They're like the cutest. It's those big eyes and those wrangly little bodies. I took a picture of them. If you ever been in the, um, oh, like a dollar store and they're probably elsewhere where you see those little notebooks and they have the, the cat or the dog with its really big head and this little body. Well, I was trying to get a picture of Sterling, like not moving. It took me 47 pictures. I took 47 and then tried to determine which ones would be the uh, right ones that, that weren't blurry because he moved because he moved. That's my phone. If I had like a, better camera it would be boom you got it the first try alrighty anyway so I put a little bit of glue on there anyway I did finally get the picture finally I don't know where that story was going but he's so darn cute let's do the inside of the card how easy was that when you think of it oh heat embossing if you haven't heat embossed before duh okay so what you do is you get your paper set your paper out and you take your embossing buddy I should have explained that. My bad. My bad. Oh, I put it, I put it back in the proper drawer so I could find it. I keep my embossing buddy in a little baggie. So we'll pretend that this is, let's just pretend this is the paper, shall we? Okay. And that it's not in a bag. Okay. Forget that it's not in a bag. We have static in our, we're static, especially, you know, winter's coming. I said it winter. And, uh, things are going to get more staticky. And when you put your, your Versamark down and then you put your powder down, your embossing powder, like so, um, it's going to stick all over. And you only want it to stick to the Versamark. So you would go like this, pat, 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 get rid of the static. Like I have to grab onto one corner. Okay. So that's not in a plastic bag. Pretend. You got to pretend with me. You take your stamp. Let's pretend it's this one and you put it into your Versamark and then press down. You won't be able to see very much except a little bit of shine on your paper. Then put something under your surface, um, like a tray or even just like a um, computer paper, whatever. You pour this over top and then you would onto your surface, not your desk, shake that off and you would be left with the powder stuck to the Versamark. Heat emboss, and voila. And heat embossing doesn't take much time at all. It's just the noise and the... I just don't want to make a mess. And it's quick and easy. So the inside of the card, there it is. I'm like, what did I do with it? Now, the one thing that I've done more than once 
is I've made a card this direction, landscape, and I've stamped this way. Good to keep it in sight. Now, I have not made the inside of the card. Um, I don't, not in a sample. So we're gonna play a bit. So this is Memento, and I'm checking my fingers. When I take the lid off, I so often get myself with it. And this is Tranquil Tide, to tie in the, the color of the card. So, oh, I know what I was doing. I remember, I had a plan last night, I did. Okay, so this is going down here. I thought I would try something different. You know how I always do them, stamp in the center, blah, blah, blah. Let's try something different. I really like, I like all the stamps, but photopolymer, it's, it's uh, unlikely you're going to stamp it crooked. You know, you're probably not going to. So, um, okay, so that says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this says, wow, I could just stamp it and find out. Oh, I don't think I got the center of it. I got glitter on my, um, Shimmer paper on my block, in case you're wondering, what the heck is that? Hope you find the beauty in the details of the season, which goes perfectly with joy on the front of the card. And I wanted to use the stamps from the card to say it's just one stamp set, which makes it affordable. Okay, don't need that. Put the lid on. That's a little bit plain, so I thought, in that same, same stamp set, there's these little guys, and since you've been watching my videos, you know that I often say we miss these little, we miss these guys. Like we don't use them as much as we should. So I do want to just test it because I haven't used this stamp. Like how cute is that? They look like little snowflakes. Perfect. I couldn't tell. You know, and this, this kind of brings forward why, how I know there's something not quite right with my eyes is like, I don't really think I should have to use a magnifying glass when I'm wearing reading glasses. So yeah, something's not quite right. We fix. Remember we do threes. So where am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna do this right here. Don't be afraid to change the angle of your stamp. It's kind of a triangle, like we want. That's it, I don't wanna go nuts so crazy because I'm pretty sure you wanna say something inside the card. It's a Christmas card. I mean, maybe you're the, Maybe you just want to put your name. I don't know. Everyone's different. Um, my glue. All right. So, oh, don't want to open the bottom right now. So, going to the inside of the card, just going to put a thin layer of the Tombow. You can use snail too, as well. I don't use them. Um, I use it if I'm in a hurry. Let's put it that way. I don't use it in classes because um, a lot gets used and it's kind of expensive. Speaking of classes, ah, a nice little segue. I almost forgot, but now I remembered. I have a class. If you're in the KW region, anywhere where you can, you know, drive without it being like an hour's drive, let's say. Um, I have a class on, there you go. I'm gonna do it this way. I do have hand lotion on. Ta-da. Pretty. I have a class on um, November the 29th. It's a Thursday night. And I will bring in this. So I don't know if it's always a leg, so I never know how long it is before you can see it. This is my blog, lollyandsand.blogspot.com. And you can um, go on there and then go to upcoming events and classes, I believe is what it says. And uh, register for the class. It's not a drop in, you need to register. Okay, and if you happen to place an order, this is the code you want to use, 377-NUVAC, N-U-V-A-C. All right, so this is the card, recapping. This is the card, okay, this is the re card I redid from Monday. If you remember, on Monday, when I made this card, I um, I used Stazon on the glossy paper. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't use Stazon. Use Memento. I wanted black, so use Memento. And um, so when I used the stays on, it kind of went on and it pulled off and there wasn't anything. Then I went to stamp again in the same spot, which I could do if I was using my Stamparatus, but I wasn't. So um, yeah, don't, don't do that. So I redid the card. It's almost identical. I even used the same strips of paper, which is to let you know you can use them more than once, even though they do get a little ratty after a bit. So that's card number, 
That's from Tuesday, so if you watch that video, you can see how that was made. This one you didn't see. This is the one that made my fingers blue because I did a whole bunch. Because I, when I get playing with brush oil, which I love, I do like a whole bunch. And then I get a big mess everywhere. So there's blue on the end of my finger now. Anyway, so just a simple card. It's white embossed instead of silver embossed. And again, we do things in threes. And also... Like this one, it's a kind of a non-traditional Christmas, but I like it. Christmas card, but I like it. And originally, my original plan, um, this is shimmer paper. My original plan was just to put it here. But when I went outside the lines like big time, I just brushed it all over and then went in and put made it a little bit darker. I didn't want them identical because that's me. And uh, there you go. So I think it's pretty. It's different. So there we go. There, there, we'll make bookends. There we go. So now you can see that I really did have a sample. Well, you saw my sample. Anyway, that's it for today. Share, share, share. If you don't want to miss the videos, like the page, like my page, you can hit follow. And I think, I don't know which one, if it's both, one or the other. I don't know how Facebook exactly works, but uh, you'll get notified when I go live. And then you will know and you can watch me make simple cards. Um... Anyway, so share the video, and if you're watching from YouTube, share it on YouTube, um, Lolly and Sand, because um, you get in the draw as well. The draw is on Tuesday, so you have up till Monday night to share, and sharing is good. All right, have a wonderful weekend. See you again on Tuesday. Bye-bye.